welcome everyone to my channel again yeah today we have a logarithm logarithm equation where we have two variables so how do we solve for these two unknown and here we are asked to solve for only but before we go into today's challenge if you're new to this channel kindly subscribe and when you subscribe do not forget to turn on the bell notification button the reason why you have to do that is because here at online mass tv we drop new videos every day okay so let's take uh, to this challenge. So let's take solution. So we'll put down solution. Now the question reads log x to the power base 4 all squared, okay, equal to log x base 2 times log x base a. Now, if you take a good look at this uh, log grading, yeah, we cannot uh, express this in uh, form of a quadratic equation, okay? We cannot um, uh, bring out a quadratic equation from this expression here. Why? Because here we are having a different base, and here we are having a different base, here we are having a different base. So how do we go about uh, simplify this log grading? simple look at what i want to do here yeah i will rewrite this expression here so this can be written as log your x base 4 times log your x base 4 equal to your log x base 2 times log x base a we look at this again here we are having base 2 so I want to bring out base 2 from this side of this uh, logarithm, the left-hand side, okay? So if I'm to bring out base 2, we can rewrite 4 as 2 to the power of 2. And so this will now become log your x base uh, 2 to the power of 2 dot log your x base 2 to the power of 2 equal to log your x base 2 dot log your x base a okay something good is playing out here now according to the law of logarithm we say that if you have log um let's say m b to the power of n this is equal to your one all over n log your m b is b so if we subscribe to this rule here we can rewrite this expression we have here as let's proceed on this side Okay, so if we rewrite this, we're going to have this to be 1 all over 2, which is for this, the log your x base 2 times 1 all over 2 log x base 2, okay, equal to your log x base 2 times log your x base a. At this point, look at what I will do. We are having log x base 2 here, log x base 2, and also we are having log x base 2 here. So we can bring in another alphabet to represent our log x base 2. So if we do that, we can say here, let, um, let's use a, um, u be equal to your log x base 2. So wherever we see log x base 2, let's put in u in there. And so we're going to have this to be 1 all over 2 u dot 1 all over 2 u equal to your u dot log x base a if we rewrite this we're going to have this to be our u squared all over 4 equal to u dot log your x base a how do we eliminate this 4 we multiply through by 4 and so if we do that on the left hand side we're left with u squared equal to our 4 dot u dot log your x this a very easy yeah we're having u here yeah we're having u here and so we can divide through by u to eliminate the first u so if we have that this and this will leave one of the u here we go with one here so we have here u equal to your four log your x this a all right so if you recall we said let u equal to log x base 2 so we can replace that with x so if we do that we're going to have this to be log your x base 2 equal to 4 
log your x base a. Easy. If we're having log x base 2 here, then equal to 4 log x base a. If I decide to find the reciprocal of this side and this side, what will happen? It will automatically change the base. Okay, so the log here will become the base. Meanwhile, the log here will become the base. And if that happens, we are going to have a common base. That is the essence of that. And so let's go on and find the reciprocal of both sides of this. And so we cannot have this to be 1 all over log your 2 base x equal to your 4 all over your log your a base x. Very easy. Okay. So what we do next here? We can cross multiply. Okay. So if we cross multiply, this we time this, this we time this. So we're not going to have this to be log your a base x equal to your four log two base x. Now according to the law of logarithm again, which says that if you have your log your p to the power of k, then move this exponent backward to become your k log your p. Okay. So if we succumb to this law, okay, if we succumb to this very law here, yeah, we can rewrite our equation as our log your a base x equal to, we are moving the whole of this exponent to this top here. So give us here log your 2 to the power of 4 base x. Now the bases are the same. So since the bases are the same, automatically they will take care of themselves. So we now have here a equal to 2 to the power of 4. And 2 to the power of 4 is what? 16. So therefore, our A is equal to 16. Okay. So this is the value of our A. As simple as A, B, C. All right. So this marks the end of this logarithm. Okay. So if you've learned something good from this simple challenge, give the video a thumbs up and do not forget to share with family and friend members who need this knowledge. Again, this is All I Mass TV and my name remains Jake's Anemo. And if you're new here, do not forget to subscribe, like I said earlier off, because here we drop wonderful videos that will educate you on the area of mathematics. Bye for now.